fate or free will? Whenever I'm asked a question, is it this or that, my answer usually is both. Because that reflects life's uh, dichotomies and paradoxes more accurately. Um, predestination applies to a lot of our life. I wrote a book called The Life You Were Born to Live. Certainly that implies some sort of predestination. For example, most of us were predestined to live on planet Earth. Most of us are predestined to be male or female. Now I realize we might travel into space and move to another planet. Could happen. Or some people through surgery these days can change their gender. But for most of us, certain things are predestined. We are here to be a certain height. There's a genetic predisposition, a certain genetic fate. If our parents were short, chances are we will be. So many things are predestined. I believe we're given a mountain to climb. And in fact, we're given a path to climb up that mountain, one of 37 paths. But how we travel up that path, the pace we take, whether we stop at some point and say, I've gone enough, that's up to us. So we're given the game to play, but how we play the game is up to free will. I believe immensely in the power of choice and free will in shaping our lives. I believe our lives were not just shaped at random. They were shaped by the choices we made in the past. And the choices we make today will in large part shape the world we end up experiencing in the future. So I'm a big believer in uh, the power of will. In my book, Everyday Enlightenment, 12 Gateways to Personal Growth, one of those gateways is called Reclaiming Our Will. And this is an, one of those 12 arenas we need to, one, say, Reclaiming Our Will is one of the 12 classes we have to pass in order to graduate, let's say. Very important area of life. So I trust what is predestined, my height, uh, my gender, living here on earth. I accept all that. And I make the best use of that. And I have a lot of wiggle room within that predestination in terms of the choices I make and the actions I take. You know that old saying, uh, three kinds of people, those who make things happen, those who watch what happens, and those who wonder what happened. So how we live our life, whether it's a victim or a bit player or an extra in the movie of our life, or whether we become the screenwriter, the director, the producer uh, in that movie we call Our Life, that is up to our choice and our actions that we take.